एवरीवन वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो ऑन करोजन लूप हियर आई विल टेक अ डे टू डे एग्जांपल टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू अप्लाई अ करोजन लूप द थ्री मेन फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर कंसीडर्ड आर मटेरियल्स सो दे शुड बी ऑफ कॉमन मटेरियल्स देन देयर इज द द एनवायरमेंट and then the process so let's take this example of a water heater if you have seen uh, one of my previous videos i have talked about the rbi inspection with this same example uh, you may want to check it out i will post a link at the top of this video so in this water heater which we all know very well there are a few major components so you have the inlet pipe you have the outlet pipe you have this tank then you have the screws and nuts uh, nut screws for the pipe and then you have the taps the inlet and outlet taps so now if we try to apply the corrosion loop to this concept the inlet pipe and the screws for the inlet would uh, would have similar functions so if we try to connect these two and bring it to the process they will have similar functions they will also involve same because they both all the entire thing here is going to take in cold water now if we try to see the materials the materials are same for screws and nuts so the materials over here over here at this point and at this point would be same so now if we consider only materials then this entire thing would go over here the taps would more or less be of a similar material if we now consider the process only then the process means that the inlet pipe would essentially be cold water and the outlet pipe and the screws would come under process so if we consider these uh, separately we can understand that this is becoming more and more complex so instead of that let's look at the process from the beginning let's focus majorly on this what is actually happening so what is happening over here the water goes in at this point it is cold inside it is transformed from cold to hot so the internal electrical uh, internal metallic parts the heating parts would be uh, sub, would be heated essentially they would not remain cold and then this hot water is then let out through the outlet so if we consider the parameters only we can try to use corrosion loops like this let's consider everything the nuts screws bolts tap fixtures inlet part etc and if we consider only the process the first corrosion loop will have similar cold water going in materials are more or less the same and so the corrosion that happens over here would be similar so if we want to inspect the instead of inspecting everything the first corrosion loop will be this that is pointed as cl1 now in the next case let's consider this water heating now in this case the cold water is immediately heated up so it is going to undergo the uh, it is going to experience the same heat and hence we can try to consider this entire thing and bring it together with the outlet because the temperature for all these conditions will be same so this will be corrosion loop 2 so essentially we have now divided into cl1 and cl2 and we can try to understand the different uh, uh, processes uh, processes as per their parameters so now here the temperature would be say low obviously so say around say 20 degrees celsius pressure would be uh, atmospheric pressure and the flow would be in here the the material 
the temperature would be more so say around 60 degree celsius as an example pressure will be different it may be more or less than the atmospheric pressure and that will uh, that will give us the differing parameters so if we want to assess it as per this we can use these two corrosion loops for the water heater so this is how you will take the concept and apply to higher so pro personally process would be more appropriate because it will actually tell you what is the inlet and outlet condition because finally it is this condition that will lead to corrosion of course considering the materials also will depend on where uh, considering the materials will also depend on the complexity of the process but uh, complexity of the overall system but to understand it would be a, a process would be a good place to start so thank you for listening to this video i am happy to i look forward to your feedback please visit my website corrospective.com for online courses which are affordable basic and simple to understand please also check out my blog which has additional information as well as quizzes to practice your knowledge on coatings cathodic protection corrosion and chemical treatment like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you